Hey guys, today I'm playing a little bit of Ravenfield and he just stole my helicopter. Ooh, there's a new helicopter. Holy shit, there's new shit. And for some reason it's showing everybody's names. Y'all are coming with me, motherfuckers, because I'm taking this quad bike. Anyway, yes, I am playing Ravenfield and I am back from, uh, back from Belfast, back from, you know, <clears throat> training for my job and things. So I thought I'd do a little video, because I've missed it. And, you know, gotta, gotta come back to it, gotta start sometime. Um, so yeah, and everyone seems to like Ravenfield, I like Ravenfield, and it's pretty relaxing. And, um, well, I'm still pretty busy. Whoa, para fucking shoot helicopter, that's some crazy shit! There have been updates while I have been gone. Fucking hell, that's cool. Um, so yeah, it looks like we got a bunch of new shit, so that's cool. Ooh, a bunch of parachuting enemies, maybe we should murder them. Let's try and murder these guys. Um, oh, get in my way, why don't you? Yeah, he died. That was pretty brutal. Um, I wonder how I turn these names off. That's pretty annoying. Oh, my quad bike rolled back that, that way. Oh, that's a dead helicopter. Okay, that's pretty crazy. This game is always a mess. I always put it on like 200 bots and it's just all over the place. I think we captured this, so that's good. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm back. They'll be stuck. I know the first question I'm going to get is, when's, fall when's Kerbal Rising? And, um, you know, soon-ish, probably. Um, I'm going to jump in this. I'm going to get in this shit. Alright, uh, yeah, it'll probably be this weekend, maybe a little after that. I'm still pretty busy. Turns out, jobs is hard, and take time, and living a normal person life for the first time ever takes a little time. But, uh, I don't know, it's pretty fun. Um, are the people still flying this helicopter? Are you... Can you fucking ask... Well, I'm just gonna... I, I wanna... You... You... Ugh, I don't care. Alright, I'm just gonna run up this hill. We'll figure out the helicopter later, and maybe how to turn these goddamn names off. Holy hell. Because that's a little bit annoying. Um, it's informational, but kind of annoying. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so I have started my actual job now. Um, I got back from my seven weeks of training in Isle in Belfast. Don't call it Ireland, because then I have a funny story about that for later. But, uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> you gotta you got to get that right. Although, no one, well, reasonable people don't care that much when you get it wrong and you're not from there. Um... But yeah, it was pretty good. I learned all the things. Literally everything. I'm omni omniscient now. It's really good corporate training. You just learn everything. <laughs> but I did learn a lot of good stuff. Oh, wow. I got killed by that motherfucker. With a rocket-propelled grenade launcher, it looks like. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I've started my work doing an actual job. I don't know how much I can... Well, I did... Well, oh, fuck, I didn't pick a new place. But I do get a helicopter. Um... I, I can't imagine I'm allowed to talk that much about it, or want to, because, you know, it's like, I don't really want my work and my channel linked, because then it's like, oh, now we have a PR problem, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but no, I have started, but I am back in my house, back at my computer. Um, I did do a few videos while I was gone, but mostly just, well, I did that Q&A, and I did something while I was back for a weekend, but um, most of the weekends I was just... Spending with uh, my friends and my girlfriend, so uh, yeah. Um, but now I should be back to fairly normal stuff. This week might be a little slow because you know I'm getting used to stuff, getting used to like working until five. Holy fuck! And coming in from central London, I don't get back until like six or like. Well, that's because I'm going like a slow way. But anyway, yeah, I have less time in the evenings than I did when I was a student. But I do have weekends, so that's all good. Um, and it also means that weekends are entirely mine, not, you know, work I have to do at home, which is good. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Ah, uh, I lived because I bailed out just in time because I'm a badass and then I got murdered. Was that full damage? Can I just take full damage? That's pretty good. That's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, Fall of Ker uh, Kerbal Rising, I keep getting that wrong. I've been rewatching Fall of Kerbin a little bit recently because I really like it. I like finding where it went wrong for me because for ages it was like, oh yeah, Tape's doing pretty well. He's got all the vehicles, but then around episode... You fuck. Anyway, around episode 17, um, <laughs> stuff got started to go pretty bad, because I made some really bad decisions, largely out of laziness, because I'm a lazy person. But, uh, yeah, still a good series. I think Fall of Kerbin was just... It was really good. I like it. <laughs> Although, the comedy, commentary from more than a year ago is always cringy, because it's like, oh, that's... that's I sound like kind of stupid and couldn't talk that well. Still can't, but it's slightly more whimsical now, so it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but no, it, it's good. In the end, the, the, the like final few like uh, episodes of Fall of Kerbin were great. Just all that like city fighting. It's just just savage, you know. Um, ooh, fuck, there's some people. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, the story about Belfast. So one of my friends in Belfast, or one of my colleagues, I guess, um, 
he was from Birmingham, and he turned up uh, on his on his first day. Got off the plane, got on the taxi to go to the hotel where we were staying, and uh, the taxi taxi driver turns to him and is like, "Oh, is it your first time in Belfast?" And he looks at him and says, like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, it's my first time. I've never been to Ireland before." Taxi driver pulls over, <laughs> pulls the fuck over to the side of the road, <laughs> turns around and is like, "Look, mate." I'm just going to tell you this for your own good. Don't call it Ireland. <laughs> I just thought that was great. Like, the first thing he did just totally fucked up. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it worked out. Most people are just really nice and stuff. Um, I did go to the Ulster Museum in, uh, in Belfast, which was um, pretty good. Had a little bit of a uh, bit of information about the Troubles. I didn't realize they were called the Troubles, which, by the way, was the war in Northern Ireland. It was like, oh no, that's just some Troubles. <laughs> you know, nothing happening here, just some Troubles. Just some troublesome Irish. <laughs> so British. Talking of Britain, it has now turned into a desert in the seven weeks I've been away. It is a barren wasteland where everything is hay. It is all hay. The grass is hay. The people are hay. Everything is hay. <laughs> Although it started raining today, it's been like thundering a little bit. So hopefully it'll get cooler because it's been very hot. And not like hot like it is in like some places in the world. But Britain refuses to accept that this is not a heat wave. This is summer. Like, every year it's like, oh god, there's a heat wave coming. It's like, yeah, it's called summer, you fucks. Get some air conditioning, you motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, my office is air conditioned, so it's fine. But my house isn't, because no one would air condition their house. Because we don't have hot summers. There's no hot weather. No, it's not hot in Britain. No, we just have heat waves sometimes. Usually it's every, every person I talk to as well. They're just fucking deluded. Like, oh no, this never happened. It's like, this fucking happened last year. Not to this degree, I'll admit. It hasn't, it didn't rain for like five weeks, which just destroys Britain. Like, holy shit, everybody just, it, it's over. Like, we're done. Um, but like, seriously, every bloody year we have a heat wave in quotes, and it's like, this isn't a fucking heat wave that happens every year, this is just summer, get some fucking air conditioning. Or just like, equip London to be a little better at fucking dealing with the hot, because it's, it's, it's ridiculous is what it is. And uh, yeah, so, anyway. So we're all going a little bit mad here, but it started raining, and um, we'll all be complaining about that soon as well. Um, although I hear the Daily Mail was reporting that uh, it'll be, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be just stay hot until October, which sounds very Daily Mail. Just you know, more my, more my Steve down at the down at the pub, right? He reckons <laughs> this is. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, my mate Steve reckons this is going on till October, and I'm gonna put that in my newspaper because you know, Daily Mail. <laughs> it's absolutely true because I read it in the Daily Mail. Um, what gun do I want? I think I want a Thompson. Uh, I'm gonna run up this hill. No, I'm gonna go get a helicopter. All right. Oh, the sound may be way down. I'm sorry, I haven't set up anything properly. Um, I've gotten back. So it's Tuesday now. So it's had been my second day of work, and it's been pretty good. Um, I, I worked, I, I, I went, I bead, I did stuff. Um, but yeah, it's Tuesday now. I imagine this will go up on Wednesday because it's kind of late and I don't want to render, I want to play Hearts of Iron. Um, something I might do a series in at some point. I've been kind of resistant to do a Hearts of Iron series because Penguin does one. So it's like, well, just watch his and also I don't want to steal his market share. Not that he would care. Like, <laughs> but I don't know, it just feels like, I don't know. Uh, but I might do one because I really love Hearts of Iron. It is just like, the, I fucking love it. I might do a Cold War mod one, because that's pretty cool, although it's really complicated, and I'm not, like, amazing at Hearts of Iron. Like, I think I should, I, if I were going to do a series, I'd start with something sort of easy, you know, play as one of the major nations, just to get the handle of it, because it's also, like, playing a game and recording it is a little more difficult. Not so much with strategy games, but a little bit. Like, whenever you, um... I hate that it has a kill read that now. I want to not really know if I've killed them, so I get a little bit paranoid. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, but I might start with something slightly easier, but interesting probably still, and then just kind of go from there. But I don't know. Ooh, yeah, there's full damage now. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> oh, change bases too. Here, there's a plane. Deploy me. Give me the plane. Oh my god. Sorry, I was just taking a drink of wine because I've had a long day. <laughs> a good day, though. It's been so, yeah, like I was saying, it's my second day of work. So the first day is like... This is all the people, this is all the stuff, and then they show you the product and tell, and you get it all set up, because obviously 
it's a big computer program, so it's like, get all this dumb bullshit running so that it can, you know, so that it works. Um, and then they give you like, they gave me like a little task because it's just like, oh yeah, just solve this, fix this bug. So we know you can actually do what you said you can on your CV, which <laughs> I didn't lie on my CV. I actually didn't lie on my CV, but it's like, there's so many programming languages that it's like, oh, well, you're doing this thing you've never done before. Good luck, motherfucker. But anyway, yeah, today was better because it was like, you do this actual task now, and it was fun. Cause it's just fun to sit down and program. I obviously really like programming, hence the degree and job and whole life devoted to it. Um, <laughs> oh my god, there is a missile on my tail! It's on my jacksy! But I got out just in time. Just in time to fall to my death. There's parachutes now. I should find out the control for that. Someone will have been yelling in the comments, um, being like, Dear, press the fucking parachute button. Um, how do you do it? Do you have to get a thing for it, do you suppose? I would imagine so. Um, yeah, I imagine there's probably just like a, a piece of equipment for it. Uh, nope. How do you do it then? How do you suppose you do it? Let's find the button for it. Um... Uh, nope, no button. Just gotta figure it out, I guess. I'll just press all of the buttons and I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, yeah, is it really not an equipment? Guess not. Okay, deploy me. Anyway. What was I saying? Something about working. Anyway, yeah, I was working on like a proper thing today. So, let's just like look at your computer and typey types and listen to music and occasionally ask questions. But try and balance it so you don't seem stupid, but so you also, you know, <laughs> you got to kind of mix it. So you ask enough questions that they're like, oh, this guy, he's willing to learn. But not so many, it's like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. It's a tough balance to find, but I think I uh, did it all right, so we're good. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, don't hold, come with me. Follow me. Follow me, my man. Follow me into the gates of hell. Oh, no. Oh, God, they're over there. Now they're dead. Mostly. Yeah, Tommy gun isn't really a great weapon. Like, the Thompson that they used in, or that the Americans used in World War II was quite good. But this is more of a gangster gun. I'm sure it's basically the same, but I don't know. It's too gangstery. This is good for shooting someone like a thousand times, but only when they're ten feet away from you. Um, <laughs> you're shooting them out of their car like in The Godfather. Spoilers, I guess, if you haven't seen The Godfather. If you haven't watched it, it's good. It's long. I watched it over like three sittings. Is, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, oh, murdered. Oh, I was gonna say something else about work. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. It's, it's fun. Works fine. Um, I've almost won this though. Almost killed all the people. Yep. Oh, there we go. Good, 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 good. Death, death from above. Death, death from above. Yeah, oh shit, oh well, I'll just keep playing a little longer, because, you know, I, I don't want to start a new game, but I also kind of just want to talk a little more, and shoot more people, because this is fun, it's just, it's just so, it's wholesome fun, you know? I was killed by Penguin? No! <laughs> he found me in a game that doesn't have multiplayer, and then murdered me! Oh my god, that is ridiculous, That how is that even possible? Uh oh, I'll shoot him with my revolver, get him! Get him, fuck yeah. Maybe I should aim. Yeah, I feel like aiming's quite a useful thing to do. I think I hit him. He's coming down, but he's not coming down well. Okay, it's saber time! I don't think I've any... Ooh, you're gonna die. Get the fuck out of my helicopter! Oh, he killed me. And then killed himself. What a dick! Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Got a pretty nice setup, though. Uh, so... For work, they gave me a MacBook Pro, which is kind of good. Like, I'm not a big Apple person, but it's it's useful. It's just, it has a really long battery life and a good resolution screen that they somehow screw up with the operating system. And then, you know, it just it works pretty well. However, the current MacBook Pro has the worst fucking keyboard I've ever used. Like, it is at the opposite of Pro. It is, like, almost useless. It is, like, genuinely difficult to type on. Like, I've had some keyboards that, you know, like a normal keyboard, it's not, it's, it's not nice to type on. Like, a, just a rubber dome thing. It's not, like, a nice keyboard, but it's fine. You know, you can type on it. But this is, like, I don't know if I've pressed any of the keys. They're not laid out properly. They're too big and somehow also too far apart. It's just shit. Um, 
so I'm gonna have to buy myself a keyboard. But it is the 13-inch MacBook Pro, so it has two USB-C ports. One I obviously need to reserve for charging, and then another one obviously I have the dongle for. The stupid fucking dongle. Um, although obviously it was free because company, but still, it's stupid. Um, did I change my gun? No, I want a new gun. I want an I want an AUG. However you call it. Uh, anyway, yeah, so. I also want to use a mouse, so I have to get a fucking Apple wireless keyboard so that I can use that without filling up my USB slots. Luckily no one uses USB sticks anymore, so that's fine, but still, two isn't really enough. Like, if, it, if there was just three, that would be that would be fine, then it would be a fine laptop. Um, but yeah, luckily they do have a... On my desk there is another screen, so I have the laptop on the other screen, so I have plenty of space. So yeah, it's a pretty good setup, although it's one of those lame, terrible open offices, you know? Like, I don't mind, like, an open office, but not just where... So, a long time ago, someone figured out that open offices were pretty good, because it, it increased communication if they're designed well. So, it's easy to find people, it's easy to talk to people, especially when you're working in software teams. However, um, in these original open offices, these old timey ones, they were they were like designed really well to kind of give people still the feeling of privacy. So it wasn't that dissimilar from cu cubicles. It was just done more creatively. So it wasn't quite like cubicles. But then everyone else was like, "We should do that." But I don't want to pay someone to figure out how to do it well. So what I'm going to do is just put a bunch of big tables in a room and be like, "There you go, open office. Good fucking collaborating, motherfuckers." And it's like, no, this is the worst. Like, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> now I have to just wear headphones all the time so that people don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Luckily, I'm only two days in, so it's not really a problem because, like, I don't mind talking to other people because I don't know them enough to hate them yet. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's good. Um, oh, my God. Will you please die? Oh, I am killing some people. Good stuff. Oh, got murdered by my own guys. Nice. Perfect. I mean, I'm alive, but... Oh, ow. 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 <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, so that's kind of shitty. But that is how, like, all offices are now. And it's not the worst thing in the world. It's fine. And in a software team, it is genuinely good to be, like, just have someone next to you because you have so many questions relating to code they wrote and shit. Um, oh, my God. All these people are the worst. Luckily, we've defeated them already. I just wanted to talk longer. <laughs> uh, rape oh, fuck. Ow, right in the chest. Oh! Oh! Well, he died, so that's good. Got some nice cover here. Shoot up some more men. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much the long and short of it. I just wanted to ramble for a while and be like, yo, I'm back, so that you all know I'm back, so that you can all start celebrating and, you know, come out of, I assume, just hibernation. I don't know, I assume when I don't see people, they just are in, like, a void somewhere? Like, not hell, but, like, just a temporal void that isn't really in this realm. Like, you know, they just sort of stop existing when I'm not looking at them. Like, yeah, I, that's how it works, right? I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, you know. Yeah, people just sort of go away. Like, holy shit, Belfast, you know, it's just all in a void right now, you know, because I'm not there. Yeah, it's, uh, that's, that's probably how it works. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So there'll probably be a couple more just videos like this this weekend. I'm going to start doing, obviously, Kerbal Rising is probably going to be my first big video. Because I want to get that done because, well, it's a big series. We want it going and doing fun stuff. And we want, you know, I want Penguin to be doing his turn. I want to go and kill his stealth ship. But you should think of this like Season 2, except it's going to be the exact same. But, last, but when we stopped, it kind of ended on a cliffhanger. Sort of the outbreak of war. So it's sort of worked out perfectly. So really my seven week break is is great. But um, I mean, I, I like taking breaks from stuff. Even YouTube. Like, because, you know, it can get tiring. Not that it was before this, really. But whenever I come back, I just want to do it way more. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah, so there'll probably be a couple more just dumb little videos like this. And then Color Rising. And then I'll probably do another KSP other series at some point. Or just some KSP videos. Might try streaming, although that's usually my lower priority, just because, like, if I got time, I'll do it. But, you know, I want to focus on YouTube. So, yeah. So, look out for that stuff. Uh, watch this space. Um, oh, also, a uh, little extra thing if you happen to be watching and are a patron. Or were a patron. Uh, thank you very much for being a patron, or having ever been a patron. Um, that is, I'm going to take that down now. I, I, I left it on and accidentally kind of <laughs> took the money from last month, but that was fine. But I am going to take my uh, Patreon down now, because uh, I don't need it, because I have a job. Um, but, 
yeah, to anyone who has been a Patreon, or is a patron, or anything, if you've given me one dollar one month more, for more months, whatever, like, genuinely, that has made this whole, like, three years of me doing uni, and this, totally just possible, and it's been awesome, and it's just, you know, taking the pressure off, because it's like, you're gonna get this little bit of money, and then whatever you make from advertising, which is just, it's just been really good, um, but yeah, I am gonna take that down now, because I just don't need it, so, um, yeah, but thank you very much, um, for doing that with, like, no patron rewards, I was, uh, I never really went in properly for the whole Patreon thing, but, uh, you know, it's just been, like, a helpful way to keep this thing going. But yeah, that'll that'll be that'll be going down sometime this month. But yeah, thank you very much. That is like genuinely awesome that anyone would do that. So yeah. Anyway, I have been rambling and keep trying to wrap up the video, then getting waylaid with something else. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to more videos. It'll be back to normal pretty much from now. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been Ravenfield and a bit of an update. I will see you next time.